This video is sponsored by Google Science Journal. Your eyes are moving so much. Oh, you're like rocketing back and forth. This is so weird. So a few weeks ago, I was visiting Joe Hansen from It's Okay To Be Smart, and he convinced me that I could become dizzy in three different ways. They were all horrible. Oh my God! Then as I dug into the science of dizziness, I found that the main researchers on motion sickness were military labs, trying to figure out how a whole Navy can avoid motion sickness or how astronauts can work in space. But there was a big gap in how ordinary civilians, like myself, can manage dizziness in everyday situations. Situations that involve the same kind of movement as spinning in a chair, but for a practical goal. no research on the best way to spin before you hit a piñata, or how that spinning affects your piñata hitting. So we decided to run a simple experiment. Simple experiment, silly experiment. I normally make psychology videos, but I felt like this one was for the greater good. And there's also some fascinating science involved. Now on closer inspection of Pinata Guy, it's important to note that his head is facing down. I mentioned earlier you can get dizzy in different ways, which has to do with how we regulate balance via our ears. Your inner ear has three semicircular canals. They each sit on a different axis and they're filled with fluid, so they can sense how your body is orientated in space. What you would think of as a normal upright chair spin only affects the vertical axis. But like Pinata Guy, having your forehead facing down will manipulate the lateral axis. And having your head to the side will affect the left-right axis. And you can even see my eyes moving in different directions when I was spinning on these different axes. So I think spinning on the vertical axis will lead to the best pinata technique. But to truly determine this, we're going to have to do a lot of spinning. Since I left Joe in Texas, I recruited some new participants. Brian from Real Engineering, Matt from Nando V Movies, Philip from Volksgeist, and Devin from Legal Eagle. Did I almost hit Vanessa? Yeah. And I attached my phone to their heads to measure the acceleration on each axis. We started with a control spin on each of these three axes. Everyone was really good at spinning on the spot, which is impressive. <laughs> there was a big difference in the max speed along the test axis and the average linear speed. Still, it was occasionally wobbly. <laughs> oh, man. Are you alright? Oh yeah. Matt hit the ground at more than 16 meters per second, which for a split second was equal to 60 kilometers per hour. Dizziness can be really dangerous. And spinning with your forehead down it led to the most subjective dizziness and longest recovery time, which would be good to know if you're designing a pinata game and you want to make it harder for your friends. How are you feeling? Much more dizzy. <laughs> Next, I wanted to test out if any of these over-the-counter motion sickness treatments would affect their level of dizziness. I gave Brian and Matt some ginger gum and Devon and Philip a pressure band. Do you want to put one on as well? Now, I suspect there was a practice effect with the spinning because everyone spun faster on their second turn. Brian turned the spinning into some kind of competitive sport. Three, four, five, six, So in research, ginger has actually been shown to reduce motion sickness the most. I feel like the ginger is definitely helping. Though in this case, people spun faster with the electro pressure bands than with the ginger, than with nothing. It could have been a confidence boost, perhaps they could have felt more stable, or maybe nothing is conclusive because this experiment only had four participants. It's worth pointing out. Ah! <gasps> Is 
So if you want to dominate at your next party, we have concluded that you should spin on the vertical axis with your head upright and with slower acceleration if you can. This leads to the least amount of dizziness and highest likelihood of making contact with the pinata. Eating some ginger or ginger gum around 30 minutes before could give you an advantage. An electro pressure band could give you a confidence boost. Four. <laughs> and if you want to be a well-rounded pinata practitioner, there's also the matter of the best way to hit the thing. How many times, like just there, if you swung like that, I would have got it. Then I'd try and hit it that way, so you have the moment of inertia sort of operating in opposite directions. Everyone has a different pinata theory. So go left. <laughs> Stress concentration is going to be like in the hook because like, all the force is going to have to go through that point where mm -hmm. it's being held up. So if you hit it like that, and as well like. Because the reaction force is going back up that way, if you hit it straight down, all of the force is being transferred into the pinata, whereas when you hit it like that, it just swings. Right. So, a vertical hitting technique will give you the best chance of knocking the pinata onto the floor. In theory. <laughs> I want you to take these results and do one of two things. First, try and replicate this experiment and tweet me your results. Or just go to a party, bring a pinata and take the science into society. This is the first pinata technique experiment that's ever been run in the whole world. I don't want to call myself an innovator when it's not warranted, but this is innovation. Now for a deeper dive into how we feel dizzy, please head over to Joe's channel, It's Okay To Be Smart. Believe it or not, there's a lot more footage of me in that chair. And please consider subscribing to my wonderful participants for more smart content. I wanna thank Google Science Journal for sponsoring this experiment. If you're sciencing some things, it uses your phone's built-in sensors to measure everything from acceleration to sound intensity to pressure. Download it from your preferred app store and happy experiment. And a big thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon, including my top tier patrons, Patrick Olson, Jason Schoenenberg, and Jack Tabor. Bye.